Hi guys, I'm Chef Michael Keane and welcome back to the Feel Good Now Kitchen. Tonight we're going to be preparing a really fantastic dish, trout and papillon. A classic, very fancy dish. This is easy. It's about 45 minutes of preparation time, but it only needs about 15 minutes of your actual paying attention. This is a simple dish with just a couple of really fantastic ingredients. First up, we have this beautiful red chard. What I love about this is that it has all of the flavor of a beet in the base and then all of the amazing nutritional value and delicious flavor of almost like a hybrid of spinach and collard greens. This is fantastic. It's a superfood. Next we have these beautiful Italian organic squashes uh, grown here in Colorado. And then the star of the show, we have farm-raised organic Idaho ruby red trout. The thing I love about this trout is it's sustainable on many, many levels. They control the water that comes into the farm, they control the water that goes out. They make sure that it's not leaving pollutants in its natural environment. They're fed on a special diet. There's an actual element of krill in the diet which gives the flesh this gorgeous, gorgeous ruby red color here that makes the trout almost look as if it were arctic char or salmon. But it tastes like trout, it's light and delicious. So again, all of these ingredients are organic, sustainable, good for the earth, and good for you. And now to start, we just line up the tail end of the char. One cut, your preparation is ready. So just set these aside, we'll come back to those in a few minutes. And now on to our squash. You can cut these anyway. I like to cut them into sort of attractive shapes because presentation is fun. And let's be honest, if you can't have beautiful food, what's the point of all this effort? First I'm gonna remove these tip ends here. I then cut the squash in half lengthwise and then turn both the flat edges down. I can make three cuts out of this. And then as an entire bunch, line it up, cut it in half. That's all she wrote. We'll repeat that with these other two. Now that we have our squash ready, we're ready for the assembly of this entire thing. The trout takes nothing. I already purchased it, deboned, and I love the skin on it. This beautiful skin is going to leave a lot of nutrient in the fish as well as add a nice, nice flavor. So now we're going to build our pouches. The beauty of cooking this way is that we encase the entire meal all in one pouch made out of aluminum foil, which I love. This is 100% recycled, 100% recyclable. Step one, I'm gonna take some of this gorgeous shard, and all we're doing is building up a nice little bed of it. You'll be amazed at how much this cooks down, so don't be afraid that you're doing too large of a portion. You really can't eat too much of this stuff. In fact, that's what's so exciting about a lot of these green superfoods, is that they will replace a huge amount of protein or meat or anything like that in your diet, but give you that sense of satisfied fullness and enormous, enormous amounts of nutrients. Okay, so now we've got our first thing here. Next up, I'm gonna make a layer of our squash. This isn't an exact science. This all can get plated later, so you're just piling this in here. And then next, I'm gonna take this gorgeous piece of ruby red trout, lay it down right over the top. So what's going on here is all of the greens aside from being delicious and part of the meal, are going to act as a moisturizing device for the fish. So you can't overcook it. I like to add a little bit of salt on top at this point. You'll see me use this again and again, my wonderful Himalayan sea salt. This is almost like a sauce in itself in that it has these really subtle mineral flavors, but nothing that you're really going to have jump you and, and put a lot of uh, attention on itself, which I think is great. We're going to follow that by placing another second sheet of foil on top and all we're doing is rolling up our corners. I'm just trying to make a little tiny pouch. All of that stuff just gets tucked in, make sure everything fits in, roll it up. Next comes one little but critical detail. Punch some holes in your foil. If you don't, this will be a hot mess. We're gonna put this in the oven for about 45 minutes, at which time it won't possibly overcook. And 45 minutes later, we're ready to come out of the oven and onto the plate. So just be careful when you open these because you could easily burn yourself on the steam if you're not paying attention, but it's beautiful because now you've got all of this wonderful fish, squash, and healthy greens perfectly cooked. And there we have it, another fresh, simple, delicious, nutritious meal. I'm Chef Michael Keen, bon appetit.